So this question is what I call a translate word problem. We know that because it's three or more lines long, so three plus lines long. And all that means, again, is I want to take this information from the word problem, translate it into something that makes sense, and that's representative of what I just read, so that I don't have to go back and reread the question over and over again in order to get an understanding of um, how to find the answer. This question also provides some information up top. So we want to see how these two things connect, right? How does my translation of the word problem connect to the information provided? So let's start reading. A hospital stores one type of medicine in two decagram containers. Okay, so the medicine is in a two decagram container. I'll just say medicine. Based on the information given in the box above, okay, so now we're focusing up here, how many one milligram doses are there in one two decagram container? So basically, I want to convert two decagrams into milligrams. I'll just put mg for space for milligrams. All right, so the information provided to us will help us to do that. So this is a conversion question. There are not many conversion questions on the SAT, but it is useful to understand how to do these. First and foremost, you always start with the provided information and make sure to write down the units. I'm gonna write down two decagrams. Then you're gonna multiply by what's called a conversion factor. That conversion factor will always have the same unit that you started off with on the or in the denominator and the unit that you want to end up with right milligram in the numerator that's always how things will work so we're going to use the top information to figure out how to get there well it looks like i don't have information that gets me directly there because what i have is decagram to grams and then a conversion between grams and milligrams so I'm, i need to do an additional step so i'm going to erase this information and instead, I'm going to convert decagram. So again, I still have the same decagram unit on bottom. But I need to convert that to grams because that's what the information provides. And that tells me that one decagram is 10 grams. Now, because I don't want to end with grams as my unit, I'm going to convert one more time. Again, matching the unit that I want to get rid of diagonally, right? Grams, gram and leaving the unit that I want to keep as my numerator, so milligram. And then the information provided tells me that 1,000 of these milligrams is equal to one gram. So now if I were to do the cross cancellation of units, I find that the only unit I will have left is milligram, which is exactly what I want. So now I just go to my calculator. I'm gonna multiply two times 10 times a thousand. Two times 10 is 20. 20 times 1,000 is 20,000. So what I end up with is 20,000 milligrams. That's the, my unit that's here. And the answer therefore is choice D.